Hey, how's it going? I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video we're going to talk about the difference between practice and playing. What are they? How much should you do of both? What's going on with practice versus playing? In just a sec. So practice and playing are two completely different things. And it's really important to know which one that you're doing so that you can know what sort of energy to bring to it, what to pay attention to, what not to pay attention to, and what the goals are. You can tell if you've successfully done one versus the other. So playing is playing. This is when we, we just play a piece. I'm playing a piece. I'm enjoying playing the piece. I might be playing it for other people or I might be playing it for myself. But I'm playing the piece. The practicing is whenever we're actively working on getting something better. We're solving problems and we're getting something better. We're training a skill. And that's a huge difference because when we are practicing, we have specific goals, ideally, of what we're working on. So with that particular, this is the Via Lobo's first etude, it could be that I want my rhythm to be absolutely steady, so I'm gonna put on the metronome and practice. I'm gonna do this, or I could, I want this, I wanna get the squeak out of that. Maybe that's my practice thing, and so then I'm going to work on practicing moving from these chords without squeaking. And so that, we have a specific goal, and we're working on specific problems, so that when we go to play it, we'll be able to play it and we'll have that worked out. Not to say that when we're playing, we don't pay attention to those things, but when we're playing, the point isn't to work on it and practice it, the point is to play it and to keep going and to ideally take that thing from the very first note to the very last note and play a piece of music and, and enjoy it and render it beautifully. Now when we're practicing, we need to keep a firm eye out for any sort of technical glitch, any sort of problem, any sort of musical confusion. So I don't know whether to get loud right there or to get softer right there, or do I just play it at the exact same volume? What should I do right there? Well, that's something to work out in practice, right? And so you could try it a few different ways, and that, that way you're actively working on the problem of what do I do with the volume level for this section? Do I get louder here? Or do I get softer? Like, what do I do? And then you can put that in there and work that so that whenever you play it, you have already made this decision. Of course, we can still be fluid whenever we're playing and make different choices and everything, but at least we've worked it out. We've worked out how to get past the tricky spot, how to get that shift, how to get the shift so that it, it doesn't derail. Did it. Why? Because I've practiced it a million times and looked at how specifically am I going to get from here to here without it train wrecking. And so that's something to work at in practice so that when we're playing it, then somebody can just say, wow, that just sounds so easy. You make it sound so easy. And it's like, well, thank you. It just comes so naturally when really it doesn't. It's because we practice these things and work out specific uh, strategies and solutions to the problems we encounter. And that's what practice is. So this is the difference between practice and playing. It's really important that we do both. If we only practice and never play, then it's like tuning up a car constantly and never taking it to the track and letting it, letting it rip. Instead, we need to do both. We need to play on a regular basis and just enjoy our music and play through the pieces. And then we also need to practice and actively work on solutions and solving problems. If we don't do both of those, then we have an incomplete practice. All right, hope you have enjoyed this video on practiced versus playing. In your practice, practice. But then at the end of your practice, do a little playing. Have fun with it. All right, take care. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.